Hey, FMS Tromo players, we're talking about the technical etude. We're working measures one through eight. So, a couple things to take note of. You start out at mezzo forte, it's nice full volume. But remember, we still have to crescendo, so don't start too loud. Two, uh, you're going to see a lot of staccatos versus slurs. We need to make that difference. And the lucky thing is some of those are natural slurs. Reminder, that's where we don't use our tongue. And some of them are tongue slurs, those legato slurs that we talk about. So today I'm going to take you measures one through eight. If you don't know any of the positions, I'd like you to uh, go back and mark in some before we get started in this video. The, the one that's going to trick everybody up is we do have B flat, E flat, and A flat in this, in this piece of music. So A flats are going to be found in third position. In measure, in measure two, though, there is that E natural, so let's make sure we're getting that accurately. Right now I'm going to play it for you at quarter note equals 60, so that way you can listen up close. You can listen to tone quality, slide, slide movement, how I'm doing each one of the slurs, and then in general just get the song in your ear. So listen up. Again, this is quarter note equals 60. According to your assignment, you have to count the first measure before you play it. So, listen to me model, you do the exact same thing. One, ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, notice how in my counting, you can hear the difference between the slurs and staccatos. I'd like to hear that in yours too. Here we go. One, Okay, so a couple of notable things to talk about after I turn off the metronome. Okay, so check out in measure, measure five. Okay, the fourth note you have is an E natural, so that means the sixth note you have is an E natural. So go ahead and mark it as a natural. Remember, put the natural sign before the note, and then put a two over it so you remember it's in second position. Um, and then there was a note that almost threw me off, and I caught it. In measure six, the last note of the measure is an A flat. Okay, go ahead and mark it. In measure six, remember the third note. Again, the, the accidental carries all the way through the measure. The second or third note is an E natural as well. And then in measure seven, uh, the sixth note again is an E natural. So you're gonna notice uh, measure five and measure seven look alike, a lot alike. And then measure one and measure three look a lot alike. Hmm. Might be helpful when it comes to practicing, right? Um, so a couple things to talk about here. One, please go back and listen to this and make note of how you can hear the difference between my slurs and my staccatos. There's a couple of the slurs that you get lucky and you don't have to use your tongue on, and that's gonna help us go a lot faster later on. But there's a couple where we do have to use the legato tongue, and that's gonna help us stay consistent. So let's talk about a couple of them. In measure one, you have B flat to C. Do we use the tongue? No, we get to be lazy there, right? We're going to just pull our trigger in between and then move on to our next note like this. And then the next set, we have to tongue. So we need to make sure those are matching. So we have our E flat, D, E flat, F, right? And then, and then in measure two, we have the fun one. We have B flat to D. And we're going to encounter uh, the same thing in measure four. We don't tongue on those. Uh, we just use a very fast slide. So here's measure two. Okay, so in measure four, we're going to go D to B flat. We don't tongue. Okay, remember on that B flat, you want to crescendo all the way across the bar line. Do not breathe. Breathe after the F in measure five. When we get going faster, you're going to have no problem making that phrase. All right, so um, in... In measure five, we have C to D. You do not tongue that. You don't have to. Let's get lazy, right? So, measure five, here it is. But 
But then, of course, in uh, the second half of five, we have F, E natural, F. Yes, you have to tongue the E natural to F, but we have to make it smooth as butter. So in measure six, C to E natural. No, we do not have to tongue. Let's get lazy. Here, uh, measure seven, just like measure five. Measure eight, the inversion, inversion of measure six. We have E natural to C, so we don't have to tongue. Um, and then when you land in measure nine, of course, we land on an A flat. Go ahead and mark that down. If you have any questions, make sure to ask us. Go trombones.